I'm Max Perrault, I'm from Canada, Montreal, and I'm 22 years old, and I'm a professional snowboarder. It's X Games, the biggest contest of the year. This is the contest where you want to get a gold medal. That was a quadruple underflip, folks! What? Max Perrault taking the gold medal. I remember a couple of years ago, when I was like 14, 15, my dream was to become a professional snowboarder. I always dreamed just to go to X Games, but I never saw myself really winning a medal. So like every time I just compete in X Games, it's a dream for me and I just really appreciate it. We had two days of practice this week and we got a little bit of speed issues, so hopefully it's better today. Uh, I think the snow conditions are perfect, so we'll go up there and we'll see how it is. The first couple of days of practice here were definitely pretty challenging. My goal is always just to get comfortable with the course, so maybe not throwing down the, the biggest tricks. Just have a feel of the course, uh, know like the air time on the jumps, know the length of the rails, all that stuff. And then on the second day and third day, this is where I really want to put down my tricks uh, as many times as possible because I believe uh, repetition is what gets you more comfortable with your tricks. So we were supposed to have slope style semifinals on Wednesday, but only me, Sven Torgren, and Brock Crouch from USA. Uh, we were the only three guys that wanted to actually run the contest. For me, like a, like a, a really good rider is someone that can adjust itself to any type of jumps. So I worked really hard to put down a, a run that I was able to have a lot of speed for all the jumps. And uh, yeah, unfortunately it's not happening. <laughs> I really hope it will happen in the next days. For me, when I go to a contest, I don't really look backward. I came here to do well, to do my best, so I was just focusing on that. The decision was made that they would push the semifinals to Friday, and then the, all the boys started riding more on, on Thursday and Friday morning, got their runs down, so started having fun on it, and it worked out. I'm um, feeling pretty good. Um, I think they made some changes on the course so, so we can get more speed for the jump. I mean, the weather is definitely not quite the best today. A little bit snowing. I think it's supposed to clear up for the big air semis this afternoon. So it's going to be an interesting contest. Damn, it was warm in my room. Feels good to be out. It's just really light snow, so. I don't think it should affect our speed that much. It'll be good. My goal is just to qualify to the finals. They take uh, eight guys out of 16. Uh, we're gonna have two eats. They take top three out of each eat and then best two guys. If my tricks that I'm planning to do works out in practice, uh, I don't even think I'm gonna look at what the other rider is gonna do. Uh, I know if I land them, it will put me in the finals. Coming into Big Air semifinals, uh, we had practice in the afternoon. Here with the speed, it's always better to ride in the evening because it gets colder, the snow gets more firm, it's more icy, so we can go faster. I was pretty happy because in practice, I tried the cab triple cork 1620 many times and it didn't work out. I didn't have the speed for it. And then in the semifinals, they rigged the jumps and uh, I got more speed somehow and uh, I landed it and made it to the finals. A solid run score here, though, could absolutely bump him up into the top three conversation. Wow. That'll do it. Max Perot, he makes it look easy. I'm really happy. I made it in. I uh, qualified second in my eat. I'm definitely feeling really good for the finals at Big Air here. It will be at night and evening, so for sure we're going to have more speed. Uh, we'll see what kind of tricks we can do. Yesterday I had a pretty good day so far. Uh, we did semifinals of Big Air, qualified second overall. So I am going to the finals in Big Air tomorrow. So I'm definitely pretty hyped on that. Uh, it's always fun to make it to the finals and then you can just go all in and make your best to, to earn a medal. Today, uh, I just woke up a couple of minutes ago and I'm uh, gonna gear up and we'll be heading over to the slope style because we got semifinals of slope style this morning.
I definitely am feeling pretty confident because I had a really good practice over the past days. Uh, but you know, you never know, like it's only two runs, so anything can happen. So I'll just make my best to make sure I can learn my, every of my single tricks and put down a full run. On Friday, we definitely had a huge day, uh, starting with practice, then semi-finals. I had a good practice, good semis run. I landed both my runs, made it to the finals with an 86. I was pretty happy on that. Here is Max Perot. He has won this event before. Very strong run so far. Just landed my second run at slope style. Uh, really happy. It was cleaner than the first run. Gained a couple more points, and now I'm sitting in third place. So I should be all good for the finals. All the guys have been killing it, and I uh, didn't thought the level would be that high in the semis. So I'll definitely have to step up my game for the finals. We got a couple more practices this afternoon, so I'll try a couple of stuff, and we'll see what I can do. I needed to figure out a whole new run for final with bigger tricks. I really had a good practice, landed my run maybe four times out of six. Then the sun just went down, the evening started, so the snow got really firm. The speed changed and then takeoff were more icy. I don't really like having big gaps in between practice and competitions. I like just having practice and then contest and then boom, it's over. I'm feeling pretty great for the finals tonight. Uh, for sure, I'm a little tired. I got my boots for like like 10 hours or something like that, so it's pretty crazy. I might go with uh, more safety runs for the, for the first one, and if I land, I'm just gonna go all in for the second one, so that's my strategy for tonight. And uh, yeah, pretty hyped for the finals. I do always feel pressure, but I guess I can deal with it. Uh, this is my 15th contest this year, so <laughs> I know what the pressure is. I know how I feel at the top. For sure, I'm always stressed, but it's a part of it, and you just got to deal with it. On the first run, I misjudged the, the speed for the first jump. Whoa! So I knuckled the first jump and then didn't make it to the second jump. You don't often see Mark McMorris fall on a finals run, and you never see Max Perot do it. Something's going on here. I did land my run I want to do in practice a couple of times, so hopefully I can land it on the second run. The next run will be the one. <laughs> Third place before the second run was only 40 points, which is really crazy. So I was like, maybe I don't need to do like that much of a big run to hop on a podium. I just told myself, okay, so I'll watch the others. If everybody lands, I'll go for two triples. If the guy just before me doesn't land, I'll just go for a safety run. And that's what happened. So pretty much everybody fell. So then I chose to go to a safety run and uh, well, didn't even make it. Oh, wow. I kind of slipped out of the takeoff. Normally, this never happens to me. The takeoff was just really icy, and it wasn't icy in the practice, so it just surprised me at that moment. I actually had the right speed coming into the jump, and yeah, I just slipped on the end of the takeoff, and uh, in the air, I knew it was over. When you don't stomp your run, you are really, really bummed. The whole week, I had such good practice, such a good feeling in the course. I knew I could have put this run down, but I didn't, so I was really bummed on that. It's definitely hard because, you know, we're doing a sport that uh, no matter like how well you ride over the week, it comes down to these two runs. Like, you gotta land in these two runs. It's definitely a lot of pressure. I can deal with that, it's all good, but uh, yeah, it's definitely, Definitely not cool not to end your run. My life's like up, down, round, round, round we go. One day I could be high, one day I could be low. Up, down, seas and towns, done about a thousand shows. One day I could be high, one day I could be My low. Life's like I do doubt myself a lot of times before my runs. Should I switch the tricks? Should I do this? Should I do that? And I look at the others, oh, he did that, maybe I should step up. But the most important thing is before you drop, you gotta make sure that you know what you're gonna do. 
I'm feeling pretty good right now. For sure, I didn't have like the best practice ever, but I learned a couple of good tricks uh, that should give me in a good position tonight. If I learn these these tricks in the first rounds, then I'll be able to to try the stuff that could get me to win. I'm definitely feeling pretty pumped up. <laughs> I really love desiring to be the best and desiring to get gold medals, but what I desire the most is just to put down the runs I have in mind, especially when you work on that like on a full week. You just want to show the world the work you've put in on your riding on this specific course. This is really what motivates me. Max Perot has four X Games gold medals, three of them in this event. He won gold in big air at X Games Aspen. Oh when he makes my it look goodness. Easy. Like a straight air he landed. Oh, at. 43, the top single score we've seen here today. Max Perot currently in fifth place. Has a 43 to his name. Oh, wow. my goodness. A 41, so two scores in the 40s gives Perot an 84 overall. What can he do to give himself a little bit more breathing room from Mark McMorris? Holy! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Max Perot, the judges really taking their time with this one. A 40, so not enough, so 84. Mark McMorris. It all comes down to this, with a gold medal on the line. Yes! Mark McMorris landing his final run. And it oh, was just the by the beard of Zeus. <laughs> Mark McMorris, the closer, doing what he does. Max Perot cannot believe it. McMorris takes over the top spot on the last attempt of the final. I'm feeling a little bit bummed about my results tonight. I am really happy about the tricks I did. Thumping that cab triple cork 1800 on the last run, which is the trick I wasn't able to learn in practice the whole week. So I was really happy on that. I thought these two tricks would give me the, the win. But overall, I'm really happy about my riding. This is my 15th contest, and uh, I just earned my 10th medal of the season. It is my best season ever of my whole career, so it means a lot for me. And now I'm going back home with another medal from X Games, so really just hype on that.